42 protesters taken into custody overnight as they blocked off Woodward between John R. and Grand River. The group Detroit Will Breathe says they gathered to speak out against federal agents sent to Detroit by President Trump. Our cameras were rolling as it all unfolded downtown. Larry Spruill is live to take us through what happened. Larry. Well, Steve and Sandra, Detroit Real Brief was supposed to gather here at police headquarters tonight at 6 o'clock, but we were recently told that event has been pushed back till tomorrow at 6. But let's take a look at how we got here. It all started with about 100 people blocking Woodward Avenue between John R. Street and Grand River in a protest against Operation Legend. The group Detroit Will Breathe has made their concerns loud and clear against the initiative and federal agents coming to Detroit and cities across the nation. The agents were sent by President Donald Trump's administration to assist with increasing gun violence. Saturday's night protest for the most part did not have any issues up until around midnight. Local four there as police armed with riot gear gave several warnings for the crowd to leave. That's when they moved in on the crowd, releasing rounds of tear gas in the air. You can see several people falling to the ground after police rushed people through the construction signs, which were placed there by the protesters. Our cameras caught police spraying the crowd with what appears to be pepper spray. It was then they arrested the leader of Detroit Will Breathe, Tristan Taylor. The crowd started moving towards Griswold, heading to Washington Boulevard, where police gave another set of commands, asking the crowd to leave. About five to ten minutes later, they released another round of pink tear gas. And I do want to say that while we were out there last night, police did give multiple warnings and multiple commands for the crowd to leave before they went into action. I did speak to a representative with DPD, and they tell me that half of the people arrested are from outside of the city of Detroit. Meanwhile, Police Chief James Craig will talk to the media tomorrow afternoon. We are live at police headquarters tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Larry.